I drive my car up to the lake As if there's someone to awake I haven't been to bed for days I live in a twilight haze And I set my heart to the setting sun And I hope that no one else has done it And the drinks are never far Open up the bar <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, hey Helen, thanks for coming in. So now your um, your main business. Well, mm-hmm. let's talk about where you came from. It was the Rubbish yeah. Whisperer to begin with, mm-hmm. and now yeah. you've teamed up with Anthea, mm-hmm. and you have the business Eco Splat. Mm-hmm. Correct. Just if yep. I say something wrong, and. Um, now, we were just talking before how you were doing a podcast once upon a time called, mm-hmm. what was it actually called? Uh, it was called So Circular. So Circular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was broadcast yeah. on Plains FM. Yeah, so So Circular was about circular economy mm. and um, it was to talk about how circular economy is like in action at the moment. Like it's not something um, that's in the future. Like there's lots of things that... Um, a circular now, so yep. we just talked about circular economy and yeah. um, in different variations. Yeah, because it's yeah. not just about um, like uh, it's not just about kind of packaging or waste, but it just extends into all sorts of areas of life which we don't even think about. Eh, like yeah. like libraries, for example. Exactly, libraries or, is the obvious one we use. Yeah, when you talk about libraries, and people are like, oh right, of course, that's what circular economy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, we don't think about stuff like that. Um, and it is it's real obvious and they're awesome services which we Yeah. We we don't think that we could have a similar type of thing in a different area, in a mm. different realm. Mm. Cool. And and yeah. you did like what, how many episodes of that? Uh, we did twelve. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's a nice round number. It was. That's like sort of <laughs> season season one, season two. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those BBC series that are yeah. defined. Well, seasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, now, tell us a little bit about um, what, how, you, how you got started with the Rubbish Whisperer. Yeah. Um, so I was living in um, Nepal and Bangladesh for mm. a year mm. um, back in uh, 2009, 2010. Yep. And so they don't produce anywhere near as much rubbish as we produce in New Zealand. Yeah. But it's not taken away. So you see it. So you're really confronted with the rubbish because it's on the streets and in the rivers. Yeah. Um, and then, um, and they, I mean, that's because they don't have a system, a you know, centralised system to, yeah. to take it away. Yeah. Um, and then I came um, back to New Zealand mm. and I realised that we do produce so much more rubbish, but um, it's just whisked away magically, magically. Yep. <laughs> and it goes someplace that we can't see it. Um, so this was like, yeah, 2011 and it was really hard to find um, anything to replace single-use plastics with because uh, yeah. you had to hunt. Um, so I spent some time hunting um, for... Um, Objects that could replace single-use plastics around the yeah. house, um, like you know, bamboo toothbrushes and right. things like that. Um, and uh, I found a whole lot of stuff, and I thought, oh, well, that cool. took me ages, <laughs> but no one else I is going to do it. this, so let's get it. That's what all happens together. when you're b- ahead of the curve, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I thought if we could gather that all together in yeah. one place, it'd make it easier for people, and yeah. this hadn't really been done before. So I started no. the rubbish was for selling products yep. um, to replace single-use plastics, and then um, made some reusable produce bags. Yeah. Um, and they worked really well, so mm. I made more of them and then um, em- eventually got them into um, supermarkets around the country. Mm. And um, and this was back when you had to really explain to someone why they might want a reusable yeah. bag yep. <laughs> instead of a plastic bag. <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, so did that. And then, um, that, then the plastic straw mm-hmm. thing, was, it was before plas- the turtle and the plastic straws. Yep. And I brought plastic straws uh, into the country. And or, or metal straws. Um, I remember the... Oh. Remember the... Yep, the, the plastic straw up, up the, the nose, nose of the oh, turtle. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yep, yep. so before yep. that, I yep. um, brought paper straws. Oh, Sorry, paper, Sorry paper. did I say yeah, yeah, plastic? Yeah. I said plastic too many times. No, that's okay. So I brought paper straws into yep. the country and walked around yep. 
um, trying to sell them to cafes. And there's yeah. so many people who are just like, why would, why would we want this? Like, yeah. This is weird. Yeah. Uh, and then the turtle happened and then the whole thing kicked off. And yeah. um, paper straw, I mean, plastic straws are kind of in the past now. So That's right. They are yeah. in the past, surely. Yeah. Have they but, been manned? Um, they, oh, you're going to ask me about regulation. This is Anthea's uh, <laughs> <laughs> thing. All this right. is her, she knows Just more. But, um, yeah, maybe. There's, <laughs> there's bands around the world of um, single-use plastic yeah. things like straws yeah. and um, you know, yeah. forks and knives That's and stuff. right. I recall the government um, shoving through a bunch the other day uh, yeah. around stirrers, which is just crazy. Yeah. Like single-use plastic stirrers, whoever using them. Yeah, don't know, um, and a few other things, cotton buds and stuff. Yeah, so I wonder yeah. If straws... So I think straws are included in that. Oh, probably. Yeah. So I did that, and then we um, Anthea came to work for me, um, mm-hmm. and so we worked together for in the Rubbish Whisperer for a year or so, and yep. um, we uh, trialed uh, reusable water balloons. Um, we sort of did a pilot and tried to make them in New Zealand to see how they would mm-hmm. go, and they were really popular, but we couldn't really scale up. Um, right. To the demand, so just kind of shelved it for a bit, yeah. And um, and then sort of by then the the world had kind of caught up to like yeah. there were reusable bags everywhere, straws mm-hmm. were like going out the door and stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, we kind of uh, switched to do something else. And what happened then was um, Anthea she has her own business, um, Remix Plastic. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so she was making recycled plastic earrings, mm-hmm. and then. Um, at lockdown, um, she had some of her Hui Feather earrings worn by Jacinda Ardern. Was it during TV. lockdown, was it? It's just after lockdown. Just so, after, yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that just took off, and yes. um, she had loads of success with that. Mm. Um, and then after that, we decided to pool our resources. Yeah. Um, and start um, a toy company. Yeah. Um, and start with the reusable water balloons and um, scale that up so we could sell them mm. in toy shops and other mainstream yep. shops around the country. Mm. And um, so we did that. What, and, what, yeah. Can I just butt in there? What was that process like? Like how do you go from being like a hands-on kind of manufacturer and having these ideas to providing like not just hundreds of water, uh, reusable water balloons, mm. but thousands and possibly tens of thousands. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it has been um, tens of thousands. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we... Oh, that's a good question. Um, what was the... Cause how did we do it? With Sammy yeah. bags, like I yeah. mentioned, we're th- well, I don't know if I did or not, but we're thinking of going to one of those incubator programs, one of those mm. accelerator Startup growth, startup things mm. where they. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I use that kind of. <laughs> but anyway, I sort of feel yeah. like they're going to inject us with growth hormones or something. But um, <laughs> you know, just to help us accelerate and yeah. that scale scale yeah. up. Yeah, well, we already had like by the time we started. So the company for Ecospace is called Sustained Fun. Yeah. Um, so by the time we started Sustained Fun, we had had like I don't know. Eight years experience yeah. in running sustainable business and yep. trying to scale. So I tried, you know, I tried to scale. The, um, well, I did actually scale the making the reusable produce bags yep. really well, and had experience shipping things in and all of yeah. that. Um, so we just kind of used all of that that knowledge, knowledge. Yep. yeah, and um, and we got them. We couldn't make them in New Zealand because we can't. No, um, that's not profitable. So we yeah. went overseas and yeah. we found a manufacturer um, yeah. in China and yeah. got you know a few samples shipped and then a little yeah. order shipped and then yeah. just kind of went from there. Wow. Yeah, um, it was like heaps of um, learning stuff. So we had to design the packaging. Yes. Um, yeah. And um, that was you know that's e- everything. Like everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like. The logos, you know, everything. Yeah. Um, but it, it went really well. And it we has, yeah. Year. Yeah. 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 Only last year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we kind of launched for wholesale customers in June yeah. and then the retail customers in the spring about this time. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. We have some. We're, I've yeah. got two small children and yeah. we have some. And it feels like we've had them forever. Mm. Um, but they work so well and mm. they appear to hold more water than a regular water balloon. And... Yeah, they. Get, get it's, 
Yeah, they do get you wetter. I mean, that's the thing. It's like they they don't produce rubbish, so no. that's good yeah. for the environment. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. have to buy more, so it's good mm. for your pocket. But they're more fun because, like, mm. a single use water balloon fight, you spend all, you know you fill them all up, and you've got like a hundred, and then it's like five minutes, and you're <clears> done. That's right. Yeah. These ones you can go for. Yeah, hours. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like th- well, I was going to say three hours. I don't know why that's a number. I mean, you could just go all day. Yeah, totally. Until <laughs> you get tired. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they're heaps of fun, um, and I think that's why they've taken off, because kids really like them, parents really like them, because you don't have yeah. to clean up all the rubbish. Yeah, and, um, yeah. No, yeah. it's a super cool product. Um, Thanks. And so Sustained Fun is the, the parent company, mm. and you're thinking of other projects or uh, toys. Do you Are you able to share any of those with us, or is it kind of top Yeah, secret? yeah, no, so we've um, just released an activity book um, mm-hmm. this, uh, this year, um, just last week, mm. and um, so activity book again. Cl- if you do it from scratch, <laughs> so much work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you see them in the shops, you know, and you don't think no. you don't think, oh my gosh, that's take. Yeah. I mean, no, I guess maybe it, if it's all computer generated, it doesn't take ages. But we yeah. did it. We did it original from scratch. Yeah. So um, Anthea had to learn how to do all of the like. You know the graphicsy things, yeah. um, the layout and stuff. Using Illustrator or something like that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, so and then like the printing took us quite a while to get sorted as well. Like yeah. learning all of the printing terms and yeah, and figuring that out. So we're pretty proud to have that out. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, activity yeah. book. I immediately think of those sort of rainy day books or those days. You know, like you might say. 365 games to play. Yeah. Um, things like that. So uh, what, what's in there? What's the content? Um, so it's based around EcoSplat. So it's got yep. the little Splat characters. Yep. Um, and it's based around um, nature and looking at nature. And so there's a bit of um, STEM, you know, uh, science, technology. Yeah. Yep. Um, sort of um, looking at... So it's got things like... Look at, so it's for uh, five to eight year olds. Yeah. So it's like look look at the weather and draw the weather and how does the weather make you feel? And, oh, cool. Um, there's things about mud, like yep. doing muddy handprints, and yeah. there's a bit of colouring in. There's a bit of drawing. Yeah. Um, uh, looking at leaves. What are the leaves? Go collect some leaves. Look yeah, at what the leaves yeah. Look like. yeah. So just like introducing um, little kids to mm. looking at Different nature aspects. because yep. so one of the things with Sustain Fun is that we want to make products that um, get kids really like get them to love uh, the environment yep. because um, if you don't love it then yeah. you have no interest in it yep. um, and if you want kids to grow up to care about climate change and mm. look after the world you have to get them to love it when they're little um, I agree. I think, um, yeah, there's a, there tends to be, like, there's a lot of fear around uh, mm. the climate and nature, right? Mm, mm. We think it's going to make us extinct, or we're going to make ourselves extinct or whatever, but it's kind of this, yeah, this sort of relationship that perhaps isn't as it should be. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, um, the situation's pretty dire <laughs> with, mm. with the environment, but that's not... A helpful message. No, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So sustained not for children. No, of course, because they're like growing up and they're full of beans and they're looking forward to life. Exactly, and you need yep. them to be like, need them, want them to be yeah. like, like really enjoying being outside and yep. walking on the grass yeah. and looking at the birds and yeah. swimming in the sea and like just being and in nature and life yeah. and loving it. Yeah. And if it wasn't climate change, throughout history there have been other struggles which we thought might have ended civilization in one sh- way, shape, or form. Mm. You know, so yeah, we need uh, problem solvers and we need yeah. people who can think and um, enjoy that process. Yeah. Rather than kind of shrink away from it and go, oh boy. Yeah, and heaps of kids, like, um, it's <clears throat> like, there's like 75% of kids and young people are worried about their future yeah. because of climate change. And that's terrible because mm. we can't have no. everyone. No, like, <laughs> really unhappy and scared. Yeah, yeah. Worry is not. I mean, it can be motivating at times. It can produce positivity, but yeah, it's easy for that to get out of balance. Mm. And we see that anxiety is off the chart. Yeah. Um, and our environment is related to our mental health big exactly. time, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and we're a product of our environment. Yep. So our children are a product and stuff like that. So we do need to 
it has to kind of all work together mm. in, a, in a happy way. Mm. Full on. Oh, yeah. that's, that's yeah. awesome. I love, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. good activity book. We're really excited about it. So next year we're uh, introducing some other some other um, toys and games and things, um, which I can't tell you about yet, no. but um, it's going to be around the climate. Yeah. Um, it's still around, you know, climate and nature and the environment and, and those things. Mm. My yeah. partner, she... Um, Works in ECE, early childhood yep. education, and man, mm-hmm. that she's always on the lookout for resources. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh well, we have some <laughs> available oh, on the cool. website. <laughs> no, good, good. So we've done. Um, there's ECE resources on the website that you can download, and it's um, it's activities you can do um, with EcoSplit. So things like um, painting, you can use them for like painting and um, target practice, and you know all of those kind of things. <coughs> Games that kids can play with each other, and so. Yep, yep. Yeah. Sounds like all the right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Some say things. painting? Yeah. Yep. With the things. Yeah. Just yeah. chucking them at a big wall. Or yeah, paper, or paper, um, yeah. dipping them in yeah. colours and then stamping and stuff because yeah. oh. they wash really well. So you can just do that and then have a wood yeah. fight with them later on. Yeah, so. true. Yeah. Nice one, Jackson Pollock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, those kids, those kids will love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. And and from the this also, you've established something else recently called the World Sustainable Toy Day. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, so, so we, I mean, we've only been in the toy industry for a couple of years mm. now, and but we were we've been looking around and talking to other people in the industry to see what's going on with sustainability in the toy industry. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of hooey but no dooey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so we thought, like, it really need to have something that people can get around, you know? Yeah. Um, so we thought World Sustainable Toy Day would be a really good idea. Yeah. Um, so we um, we just, we did that. <laughs> yeah. How do you create a day <laughs> uh, <laughs> that doesn't idea. already exist? <laughs> we checked if it exists. We asked some people yeah. who've been in the toy industry for ages yeah. if, if it ex- something like that existed yeah. and if they thought it was a good idea. Yeah. They both said yes. Yeah. So um, we, I don't know, we just, <laughs> one it. weekend we yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. Made, no, it's made it really cool. So it's um, on the third Friday of November. Mm-hmm. Um, so this year that's the eighteenth of November. So that's um, the Friday before Black Friday, right? Um, which seems an appropriate kind of totally. time yep. to be thinking about toys. Yeah. Um, so the point of World Sustainable Toy Day is to um, think about sustainability in the toy industry. Yeah. Because um, the toy industry is, um, it, it's people don't really consider it. Too much when it comes to um, how much trash it how produces, much trash, how much except for rubbish. maybe on Christmas yeah. morning. Yeah. But it's like it's the most plastic intensive industry in the world. Wow. Um, so that means that it makes it uses the most plastic per million dollars of revenue. Wow. Um, because ninety percent of toys are made from yeah. plastic. Yeah. Um, and it's hard, they're hard to recycle because of the toy, toy safety standards, which yep. obviously are really good, but it yes. means that you've got um, lots of components that don't come apart easily, yeah. and yep. you can't always make it out of recycled plastic. So you've got this massive like, plastic mm. footprint, and then kids lose interest in toys like that. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, and then there's all the packaging, and then there's like the uh, Christmas morning um, yeah. depression <laughs> when you see all the yeah, rubbish from the toilets. <laughs> so um, we thought that we need to start thinking about sustainability yes. in the toy industry, yep. um, celebrate what's already happening because there's mm-hmm. loads of people who are already doing something, yeah. um, and. Um, yeah, um, and and there are obviously there are some toys that exist that are naturally somewhat sustainable. Like they, for whatever reason, they um, they kind of meet a certain bunch of criteria kind of already. Like I'm thinking of um, obviously there was a bit of a big wooden toy movement. Yep. Um, and uh, there's a company we have a marble run, marble race, yeah. or something rather like that by yeah. Harpe. I think it's Harpe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they seem mm. to produce a lot of kind of quite thought-provoking toys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they're kind of somewhat sustainable. Is it, is, yeah. it a, is it wrong to just make that assumption because it's made out of wood, it's um, all good? Or? It, yeah, it probably is yeah. not quite correct in making that assumption. But, but the, the point really, I think, is not necessarily what it's made of. It's 
um, how long it lasts, right? Where the kids actually play with it, yeah. Um, yeah, and then also things like um, can it be passed on? Can it yeah. be reused? Um, so Lego would be a great example of that, right? Most people value Lego. For its longevity. I mean, yeah. we've got Lego uh, from yeah. when we were children, which uh, my wife and I... So that's, um, yeah, 40-odd 40, 40 years. Yeah. I, I yeah. Would, so that's like... Mixed up with the, some of the new stuff new as stuff. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we have Lego in our house also from when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's really good. Like, there's no mm. point having, like, some toy that's made from you know recycled wood and it's all amazing and nobody ever, like a kid that's doesn't play right. with it yeah um and it's yeah. also the quantity that yeah. kids are, are getting um, yes yeah so like like <laughs> we probably just need to <laughs> maybe tone down the like excessive consumption <laughs> yeah 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 a bit yeah. and yeah. um you know it's not really it's not like um you know, the Dursley kid off Harry Potter, you know, on his birthday, right. where he's like... I haven't seen I, Harry Potter. I don't know why I'm doing a Harry Someone said this to me the other day. <laughs> no, and that's I was like, okay. oh, it's got a reference. And he's Is like... There a- yeah, there's this kid, a spoiled kid, and he's like, um, oh, last year I got 36 presents, and, yeah. and, and this year I've only got 35 or something. <laughs> like, we shouldn't be doing no, that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, Quant- quality over quantity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've got a Monopoly set that... Mm. Um, had when I were kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff like that is. My parents saved a lot of stuff. We've mm. got um, we've got snacks and ladders, sort of like an old school uh, board of mm. that. Um, yeah, Candyland, yeah. a bunch of different real old classic games, which the kids still yep. love playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Candyland? Candyland is, as the name suggests, <laughs> <laughs> a world filled with candy. Amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I just had uh, to know. Produced by Chelsea know. Sugar. <laughs> and, uh, it's um, I don't know. Yeah, it's just excessive uh, lolly consumption. Uh, but you don't get to eat them. You just get to look at the lovely pictures and jump around the yeah. little land. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's dreaming of candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that starts them off on the right foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hey, you know, vegetable land. Oh, that's just not going to be the same. As <laughs> no one's going to no. want that. Oh, the Kumara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, toys, what do you have? Can you give us a few examples? What are some of your yeah. favourite? So you said Monopoly. What are yep. some other favourite kind of toys that you... Um, I've got a rocking horse that yes. um, was yep. my mother's, uh, yep. and she it was second hand when she got it, so yep. that's eighty plus years old. Cool, um, and gets ridden by um, lots of mainly mainly now kids who come to visit. Yeah, um, and um, it's a, like a family heirloom. Now, it is right? a family heirloom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've got a, a the doll that I had when I was mm-hmm. um, a. a Girl, um, my daughter played with that. Yep. Actually, she, didn't, she wasn't really into dolls, but <laughs> <laughs> you theoretically, it she, I mean, out. it was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a, like a dodgy eye, so she was just like, what? <laughs> not but, uh, all not, maybe that's dolls not are made equally. <laughs> <laughs> I still love her a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think that's the thing, eh, with sustainable toys is like, Toys that kids really, really yeah. love and want to keep. Um, yeah, you're that's, right. That's what's sustainable, yeah. Totally, because yeah. I forgot about that function. Like, that has to, it, that's the first and foremost kind of thing that needs to be achieved mm. for the child to love it and to enjoy it and things. Yeah. I've started, yeah. Um, what about new toys that you might have to purchase? Do you have yeah. any favourites amongst that? Like, obviously the... You know, oh, like, I just <laughs> love Eco Split. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and anything else I produce. <laughs> well, obviously, I do love those. <laughs> hmm. But um, is there any that kind of spring to mind? Um, there's. I've discovered heaps lately um, in in my connecting with people in the toy industry. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how many are available in New Zealand, but there's um, there's starting to be like recycled. Um, Polyester soft toys, oh, um, yeah. which is really yep. good. Um, yep. There's um, there's a woman um, who sells in the US who makes dolls um, from 
Oh, I don't, you know, not from. Uh, dolls based on um, historical figures of women who have done oh, really cool. amazing things. So really? she. Oh, that's nice. She, um, yeah. she was, you know, when her daughter was growing up, she's like, there's no. We've forgotten about yeah. women in history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we're yeah. all a woman. And so she said, like, well, I will just make some dolls of them. <clears throat> that's so a she's great got idea. This range of dolls. Yep. Um, um, there's. Uh, there's a game um, called Getting Lost, which is a New Zealand game, um, and it's a card game where you go out and you follow the instructions. So oh, there's wow. different variations of it, yep. and um, so you know you, you might be doing the one in your car or the one walking your dog, and it's yeah. like um, turn left at the next tree, or oh, uh, right. and then there's like little activities you can do yeah. and stuff. So that's really yeah. cool for. Um, getting out and yeah. doing something with your yeah. family or your kids. Um, that's that's a really right. nice one. Because to always yeah. go beyond a physical kind of thing, mm. um, it ca- yeah, it could be an experience or it could be, um, like, you can gift in different ways, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think those toys like um, that one, like Getting Lost or um, Eco Splat, that... Mm. Are good for parents and kids, and kids and their friends and cousins, yeah, and yeah. like you know when you can when you can be like, your kids have been in the house for way too long. Like, yeah. take this and go out and be outside. And you're right, you know. and it does cross a lot of bar- like um, things. It's not it's not restricted by age, and it's not mm. restricted by um, yeah, like anything really. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and those kind of toys where you start playing one yeah. thing and yep. then it become something else yeah you know that's totally that's pretty cool and then you can play for a lot longer and, yeah. and stuff like that because a lot of toys yeah. will um sort of stifle creativity don't they because yeah. they're just so one one thing that you can do with them yeah, yeah so apparently um lego used to be a lot more open yeah um yeah like i remember I, we I just had agree. bricks yeah. and yeah. we had like um you know like yeah. the ambulance i think my brother had the fire engine yeah but otherwise, it was just you know you just create. Did he grow your world. up to be a fireman? <laughs> and, no. and you a nurse? <laughs> no, 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 we didn't. Oh, well. just wondering. <laughs> um, but uh, apparently, in Lego, there's less of that. Now it's more like follow these instructions and build yeah. this thing, and that's really great for certain types of like you know. It creates things. a bit of a yeah thing, like mm. yeah. There's like, only one way to do it. Yeah, and after yeah. you've built it, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, now. that's right. Pop it on the shelf, look at it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it doesn't in my house. It gets destroyed and then it gets scattered and then yeah, it's that's impossible what to rebuild. Yeah, that's what it should yeah. be. <laughs> I wonder if Lego will ever do like a, like a closed loop type thing where they accept bricks back and they can melt them back down and produce more or something. They've started ones. to um, make them from recycled plastic. There's oh, like yeah. one of the, yep. you know, they're a massive company, so yeah, there's true. like some probably a bit of a thing in the future. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, by yeah, yeah. 2030 we will yes. be doing something. something. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it would be really good actually mm. if you could just like, yeah. <laughs> Send your forty-year-old bricks back, yeah, <laughs> and Is, have them repackaged. So let's go back to World Sustainable Toy Day. Yeah, um, what activities are you planning around that? Mm. Because I'm kind of thinking there's an opportunity for like uh, toy swaps or yep. um, kind of uh, sort of along the lines of toy library, but maybe just a day where you get together at a certain school and everyone brings the toys that they perhaps don't want, and someone yep. else can discover it and. That's a really great idea. Do a bit of yeah, a trade. Yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to do that, they All right. quite welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so we, this year, well, this is the first year, and we yeah. only, like, yeah. conceived it like a month yeah. ago. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this year, we're like, oh, this mm. is really good. Let's see what people want to do, and yeah. then we can build on it next year. So yeah. that's a great idea. We are doing, obviously, an uh, Eco Black Water Fight. Yes. Um, yeah. And we're talking at a school... Um, to, I shouldn't say talking. We're like, you know, with the kids um, yeah. talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. sustainable toys. Yeah. Um, so this, it won't be a like finger wagging no. <laughs> thing because no. that's no fun. Yeah. Um, and more just like, <laughs> like we just said, like, what toys do you like that you've had for yeah. a really long time? Yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing So it's that. a discussion. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, totally. And then having a water fight, um, yeah. which is really good. Um, Enviro had. Enviro kids are doing um, something at the Botanic Gardens on Saturday the 19th. They mm-hmm. have a drop-in where, between like 10 and 3. Yep. Um, so you can just go in and there will be um, 
you know, inter- uh, in discussion and activity sheets about mm-hmm. s- sustainable toys, like, mm. what's, what's your toy made? What's your favourite toy? And what's yeah. it made of? And, and yeah. this kind of thing. Um, and there's a couple of activities that we've put out on the website um, that you can just download um, so kids can, like, go around, do a scavenger hunt in their room and mm-hmm. find, find toys that are made of plastic and find toys that are made of wood. And yeah. So just, like, looking mm. at them and mm. seeing what you got and, you know. Yeah. Fun yep. games and stuff. No, like, no, like bad news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think promoting promoting kids' imagination and mm. thought around, like, I mean, everyday objects <clears throat> mm. from toys, from the toys that you get so bored of seeing, through yep. to, um, yeah, and you can find new uses for them. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I mean, some kids really like categorizing things, you know. They do, uh, yeah. like putting all yep. the red pegs here and all the yep. blue. So you know, it's just another way of using toys, like yeah. going around your room and yeah. piling them in little piles of yeah. what's made of what, yep. um, what you like best, and mm. what you don't like so much. And, and it's interesting to see the development between ages as well, right? Um, mm. You know, like zero to five, and then five to ten, um, and what captures their imagination during those years and how it yeah. changes. Yeah, yeah. One thing I'm looking forward to buying my kids are more educational kind of ones like yeah. um, microscopes and, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that starts off with right, magnifying glasses magnifying and stuff. Magnifying glasses. But, yeah. yeah, that stuff's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Like and I still sets. am <laughs> flipping interested in looking at stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grossing myself out by looking at small things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what do my toenails look like <laughs> under the microscope? Yeah, <laughs> totally. It's like, whoa. Yeah, that stuff's really, really fun. <laughs> yeah. My daughter liked making, um, you know, she went through a phase wanting to make stuff, like, yeah. Slime. And oh, all of that. right. Yeah. So yep. instead of just buying slime, yes. you can buy a book that's like twenty yeah. types of slime you can make. Yeah. And you just need mainly it's you know it's kind of kitchen stuff. So I bought a whole box of kitchen yeah. stuff from their slime ingredients book. And then when she'd kind of got over that, we just put it in the cupboard and yeah. made it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, yeah. So cornflour and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Cornflour's mm. cool. Mm. Play-Doh, people make their own Play-Doh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Play-Doh is easy to make. Yep. yep. Yeah. The whole thing with Play-Doh is that it was, this is what I think I read somewhere, <laughs> Yeah. that it was, you know, just kind of created uh, from bakers, children playing with dough. Yeah. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah. Huh. Mm. And then I guess they chucked in some food colouring and then the kid kept on eating it and they were like, well, we put some salt how are we going to stop that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it toxic. Um, <laughs> just a bit toxic, not too <laughs> yeah. toxic. <laughs> yeah, just a wee bit so they'll get real thirsty if they do eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's cool. Hey, yeah. um, what about, would you, be, would you be open to sharing some toys to avoid? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like some some notoriously unsustainable or whatever toys. Because yeah. I was thinking so, yeah. potentially slime, like mm-hmm. although not the stuff perhaps you're making at home. But yep. there's a lot on the shelf nowadays, right? Yeah. There's yeah. this. Um, there's such a and you know we've bought some for our kids, um, and it yeah. was really interesting and fascinating. Yeah. But it didn't last. Yeah. Uh, that long. Yeah, I think that's the key pretty yeah. much is yeah. that there's a lot of things you can buy now yeah. that you can't we used to just like kind of make. make. Yeah. Um so when I say make I don't mean like sewing your own soft toy. <laughs> like no. but yeah. things like now you can buy like a really overpackaged skipping rope. Yeah, and you used totally. to just have a rope. Yeah. Um and I realise you can't like give a rope to a kid for Christmas. Like no. here's a bit of rope. <laughs> But um, but with things like slime and play doh yep. and stuff, they they are like simple to make yeah. play doh for little kids and fun to make for older kids. So yeah. like making the slime took it mm. from just like ooh look it's really fun mm. to play with like five minutes to like yeah. okay I'm gonna m- mix it and read the instructions and what colour food colouring should I put in and so it becomes, it becomes like a whole thing, a eh? whole thing, an activity, a time. Yeah, thing. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, and you, you can do it outside. And so you've you just got a hose product. Off the <laughs> yeah, and a memory. Yeah, yeah exactly. My like memories are massively yeah. cool. So I would say, like, um, things that are like that, that you can, we used to just do or make, mm. uh, and now mm. I've packaged. And things that, like, are no way going to last. So, yeah. you yeah. know, um, things that a kid is going to 
like for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> Those are things things to avoid. That, yeah. The thing is, is there that a, if, is, cheap. Yeah. Um, so that's your kind of pet peeve is um, just real throwaway. Yeah, just junk. Kind of it's junk. Just junk. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, that's all right. I was trying to get you to name one. I'm not going <laughs> to. People can just think of ones. Everyone yeah. will know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. Oh, that's good. That's, that's giving me heaps to think about. And like you say, mm. Christmas is coming up mm. uh, and Black Friday, whatever that is. Um, it's horrendous. Just <laughs> I, 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 mean, I, thought, I think crap Black Friday is horrendous. Yeah. 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 Black Friday, what is that? That's that big sale, right? Yeah, it's that yep. big um, shopping day where yep. everything's on sale. That's yeah. right. I tend to avoid stuff like pre, that. So pre kind of Christmas yeah. um, encourages people to buy stuff. Um, yeah. And then there's an E one. There's one kind of online one, I think, which is a, perhaps the Monday before the Friday or the Monday after the oh, Friday. Oh, Cyber Monday. Cyber. If you haven't right. done enough shopping at Cyber the shops Monday. on Friday, yeah, yeah. then on Monday you can do more shopping online. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. it's just a cycle of... It's, t- it's too much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like We've yeah. got so much stuff. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool. I went to a place in uh, St... I don't still don't know how to say it. St. Louis in America. Mm-hmm. Mm. St. Louis. Um, yeah. And um, there was a massive museum and it had... It was kind of... It, it was more just junk. It had all the cities kind of... But it wasn't junk. It was like interesting stuff. Mm-hmm. It was fascinating mm-hmm. stuff. And they had like a airplane kind of hanging off the top of the building and you could crawl through the airplane and you could look down yeah. through the bars kind of at the ground below and uh, there were all sorts of um, things from industry, mainly mm-hmm. from industries um, like printing industries. There were massive safe doors and all of this kind of stuff they collected over the years yeah. from the city itself and kind of put in this one building. And there were slides and tunnels yeah. and it was just a big kind of adventure playground, mm-hmm. I suppose, of um, artifacts. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It was that really cool. Yeah. But wouldn't it be, yeah, I don't know. There's so many, I think toys, yeah, there's a real opportunity to um, get them all together kind of, like not mm-hmm. for them to go to landfill and perhaps find other uses for. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, at the moment, most of them go to landfill, mm. unfortunately. Yeah, um, that's right. Something gets broken. One thing will get yeah. broken on but it. That's the whole idea behind it: is to you have to buy another one as soon as possible. That is true. Yeah, that's, that, yeah. That's and that's a wider battle yeah. with not just toys, but with um, kitchen equipment. Oh man! And, yep. Um, yep. The design of obsolescence in these yeah. commercial f- freezers is freaking awful. Yeah, <laughs> they're designed to break yeah. as yeah. soon as the guarantee runs out. Yep. Yeah, guarantee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've had that happen. You know, two or three times. Mm, yeah. yeah. So we spend more money on a commercial uh, fridge, um, yeah. and the coils in them are made really thin. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, we we've got a domestic one which has not had a problem at all. Yeah. But for some reason, the commercial ones are just really. Well, mm. yeah. The technician told me that the the copper coils are deliberately made quite thin, yep. so um, mm. the freon starts leaking out, and the yeah, you know, it all starts going downhill and you know they have to come and repair it but then eventually they have to come and re- replace the whole coil yeah and it's all because they're deliberately designed to break down yeah that's like designed obsolescence makes me really mad because mm. it feels like it feels really evil <laughs> like i always imagine yeah. these people sitting around a table going okay so yeah well, how's it going to break and when's yeah. it going to break like how could you do that like my dad always yeah. talks about he has the same thing which i'll share with you uh, just once um, about the potato peel and making the potato peel like yeah. brown, so it looked like the potato peelings, and that people would just accidentally throw them away. Yeah, what? no way. I, I don't, so yeah, <laughs> apparently it's true. And then they yeah. obviously they just sell a whole load more potato peelers, yeah. right? Um, and people yeah. said about sanding bags, they said, "Well, your weakness is that it lasts too long." Yeah, it's kind of like, well, really? Can, have, can we? Yeah, <laughs> can we call it a strength? <laughs> <laughs> I would think that's a strength. <laughs> yeah, mm. I yeah. mean, yeah, the system is set up to for things to fail mm. and for us to buy more, and then we yeah. end up in this, you know, this piles of rubbish and everyone not having enough money and trying to keep up with everybody. And <clears throat> yeah, I mean. It's one of those big negative 
downward circular with spirals. Yeah. Where, yeah, we need to be going the other way. Totally. It's a race yep. to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to be in that race. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to, like, step out to the side. <laughs> yeah. But I guess we're all in to the race to the bottom if, if that's how the system's set up. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's like a whirlpool kind of gets sucked down. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw in another controversial topic, yeah. um, and I've noticed Pack and Save sent out mm-hmm. an email the other day, yeah. uh, kind of sort of uh, quietly slagging off Countdown for its collectibles, oh, yeah. and it was saying, say no to collectibles, uh-huh. and Countdown have got a new, you know how the, they, you might not know Milton, or you probably do, the Lego, or the, it's the not Lego. The farm bricks. The farm bricks and the plastic kind of items that, yeah. they did actual supermarkets at one point yeah. and then um oh yeah, the, yeah. they were terrible like yeah yeah, the, yeah. Um, the, so tiny little packets yes um and then in the packet to bulk it up to make it look like the biscuits was like um styrofoam yeah that's <laughs> right and you're like what, what it's too small to pl- plate what, what are you meant to do with that it's a crazy disaster of a thing you would think I mean, obviously, there's that addictive thing, and kids are easy. Mm. They're, like, easy target. They're, yep. like, such an easy target for that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I was fascinated to see Pack and Save go on the attack and say, yeah, yep. in an email, say no to collectibles. And, you know, New World, because there's only the two supermarket chains in yep. New Zealand or whatever, mm. um, and it's, yeah, foodstuffs and progressives, I think. I can never remember who owns what or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I know Pack and Save and New World are combined. And, yep. and New World do the seeds. Yeah. Like the little yep. gardens. Yeah. And the seeds are now fully, they're fully plastic free. So they used right. to be this, the seeds in the packet with the little plastic thing with, you know, the picture of the cabbage on it. Oh, and right. And now that's True. Yes. been made to be part of that yep. little cardboard yeah, that yeah, goes yeah. around it. So, yep. yeah, they're great. The seeds are great. So it's amazing, eh? One one yep. idea is, seems to be so in touch, and the yep. other one seems so outdated now. Yeah. I yeah. mean, giving away free little garden... Oh, what is it? Farm things. Plastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, those are things that, within a, a, an hour... Totally, yeah. So we've got this thing that's made of plastic, which lasts for hundreds, <sighs> thousands of years. Yeah. For a minute, <laughs> like yeah. if we're talking about the race to the bottom, is that yeah. really what yeah. we want to have pushed us to the bottom? <laughs> like something yeah, our kids I know. are like, "Yay, oh, I'm bored now." Yeah, yep. Christmas crackers. Yeah. Yep. Oh, but there's some Christmas crackers that you can get from this company called um, Waste Free Celebrations. Yep. And they are waste free Christmas crackers that you can put your own stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put your <laughs> countdown. Yeah, you well, can put all your no, collectibles just kidding, just in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not like your yeah. seed ones. Yep. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Yeah. True, the dirt. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it'd be like confetti. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's a great idea. And I think that, is that based in Wanaka? Or maybe not. I can't remember where she's based, but, you know, you can Google Waste Free Celebrations. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Such a great idea. Mm. Um, And, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we made our own Christmas crackers a few times. Yeah. 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 Yeah, It's quite good fun. Did yeah, you? Yeah. Did they go bang? Or yeah, man, you can buy you can buy the banging bang things. Yep. Yeah, yep. I used to make them when I was, you know, I don't know, thirteen, going through a crafting oh, yep. phase. Yep, yep. Yeah. Could you make them go bang as well? Yeah, you used to be able to buy oh, the. Yeah, man. Oh, right. You buy the okay, snap cool. right. thing. All right. Um, it's and not then like you the use like, No, no, it's like it's <laughs> like gluing. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to glue it. You get like yeah. a um, roll, like a yeah. kitchen paper roll or a toilet paper roll or something. Yeah. You put the snap thing. Yep. Uh, you stick your stuff in it, and mm-hmm. then you wrap it up in paper or fabric. I had no idea you could buy those snap things, mm. those things. Do you know where yeah. to buy them? Uh, maybe Spotlight. Or That's something? what I was going to yeah. go for. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's an activity. Yeah, as exactly. Well, as the well we, we're pretty heavy on yeah. uh, Christmas decorations in our house, making mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So mm. sometimes it's popcorn. Threaded, yep. threaded on string. Yeah, um, and you can color that with food coloring, obviously. Yeah, um, uh, we've done the, the the dried orange peels and oh, yeah. lemon. Yeah, they're beautiful and they smell good. Yep, um, mm. 
and that's yeah. a that's a kind of a cool activity. Yeah, we've done the uh, paper paper streamers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah. you know when you cut strips and then you fold them. Yes, concertina yes, yes, them yes, yes, yes. Yep, yeah, totally. Yeah, My kids fun. are doing that at the moment. Do you know what yeah. we did the other day? This is mm-hmm. kind of silly. Well, it's not, but um, it's we've got um, some swan plants and we're growing yeah. caterpillars. Yeah. That's what you call it, growing caterpillars yeah. and um, <laughs> farming them. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of feels that way. You know, we've had a few years where it's just been nightmare territory. Every yeah. parent, I think, has gone through those times where too many caterpillars, not like, enough plants. Yeah, <laughs> death is coming. Spending lots of money <laughs> buying all these plants, um, uh, trying to keep it, <laughs> trying to keep it good. But um, so, but this year we've got them growing from last year. We've got yep. heaps, and they're growing really well. Mm-hmm. So we've got, and we've put a we've put a net around the plant, so we've got a we cannot get any more butterflies in there. Yeah. And um, the other day we started doing black and yellow paper. Yeah. Concertina things, and yeah. we started making the little caterpillars. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Just that's there, awesome. um, so we've got a whole heap of them around the house. Yeah. You know, small ones, fat ones. That's cool, cool man. That's yeah. Cool little, yeah. Little, uh, monarch butterfly caterpillars. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah. just thought yeah. I'd share that with you. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for coming in, Helen. Yeah, yeah. Thanks um, for having me. That's provided fun. us with heaps of ideas and yeah. thoughts and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and yes. I I really enjoyed the 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 idea with these activities with children and you're creating memories as well because mm. mm. uh, that can't be underestimated. As opposed to just chucking them, a, you know, a five hundred dollar present or however many hundred dollars that you're spending on presents or whatever, yep. and thinking that's going to kind of yeah. solve your problem and stuff, but actually, sort of spending time with your kids and doing activities yep. and all that type of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. I look forward to, yeah. um, you know, finding out what some of the other toys are going to yeah, be that you guys it's are working exciting. on. Exciting! We're quite excited. <laughs> So it is. I'll keep you posted. Do you, yeah. you, you and Anthea must just, yeah, love yeah. it. Like, it must we do. <laughs> encourage the kid and yourself to come out. Yeah, um, we like um, creating stuff. We yeah. uh, so we have this basic process where we um, we come up with ideas. One of us comes up with the idea, or we come up with it together. And then I usually do like a really bad. I'm not a very good drawer, so I do this mm. a draft that's just. Terrible. And yeah. then I pass it to Anthea and she does a mm. better draft. Yeah. And then either we make that into the product yeah. or the design or we get an artist to yeah. <laughs> jazz it up a bit. So, yeah. And it works really well. And um, this, yeah. the, the problem is like stopping the ideas so we don't just go True. Uh, <laughs> making yes. too much stuff. Because once people find out you've got a toy thing. business, they're going to be like, have you ever thought of? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you make? Yep. Blah, and we're blah, like, blah. oh, that'd be great. Let's yeah. do it. And we're like, no, no, yeah. we've got we've got to like yeah. <laughs> do our job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, um, here's our little breakfast menu. So um, mm-hmm. I'll hand that over to you. Oh, thank you. Here we are. And um, Yeah. I I I would like to think of toys. I'm gonna just send them to you once I have an idea. Great. Which is Excellent. probably going to be a wee bit annoying, but anyway. oh no, that'll be fun. We'll write them on our list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our new ideas list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll come up with a few things here when we're the talking rubbish with yeah. each other during, during yeah. the morning. Yep, we'll come up with a few ideas. We do come up with some yeah. pretty cool ideas. Yeah. Because we like blab 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 blab, and then a, like a good idea pops out. Yep. That's how it's done. Yeah, right? that's a yep. good thing about just chit chatting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Helen. Cool. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Bye. Yeah. Bye.